Last thing we're going to talk about that has to do with our assets buying and selling that we have are non-current items. So if you remember, current items are things we use up within a year. Non-current items are those things that will last for a long time. Now, we might sell them next year, but that doesn't mean they're used up. So all of our feed expenses, our medicine, our market animals, those showed up as cash entries. And when we talk about cash entries, those are all current expenses or current income. Now we're talking about where we're buying or selling equipment, land, items like that. We actually saw some of this when we did our beginning values. But if we buy stuff along the way, it's going to go here. So here's what we do. We go to non-current items and it lists everything we have in inventory. What do we own right now? If something needs to change here, like we need to, we had a U, for example, and we sell it, okay? Then we would come in here. We wouldn't just edit it. We would sell it and we put information about selling it. And if you actually, um, well, we'll leave it there. That'll be good. So we'll, who we sold it to, all that sort of stuff, okay? If we need to buy something new, if we bought like a new piece of equipment or a new breeding animal, we would go through the type of item. Notice non-depreciable is not an option here, so we'll have to choose the one that fits. What was the date? Give it a name. And again, don't just say sheep. Be specific. Um, description of what it was, how old it was. Was something useful there. Who you bought it from. How many you bought. The total acquisition cost. So how much did you pay for it? The salvage value. So how much is it going to be worth at the end of its useful life? So you pick whichever one that's going to be. And it, maybe it's going to be um, the same amount if you don't want to show them depreciation. There are these three buttons here that'll help you tell more about this, the salvage value and depreciation. It'll open up a new window for you on the AT that'll go in depth more of that. So if you're not sure what to do, that's a great resource there. When we're done, we'll hit save and I'll be all good. I just hit cancel to get out of there. And so this item, should, this page should be up to date anytime you buy or sell a non-current item updated here and then finally make sure that usage is correct so what sae does this go with for an example we had this u in 2020 is it part of our market go project or our market sphere project well it probably actually would be uh, a sheep project but i don't have that in here so but if we're using equipment across like three different projects let's say this was a um a pit like a set of panels that I have, and I'm using it for both my steer and my market goat, and I'm gonna split it 50-50. It's not a big deal how you do this, as long as it adds up to 100%. And if it's grayed out, that means you didn't have it then, you don't need to worry about it, okay? So there we go, and we hit save when we're done. If you don't have the set correct, you'll get a big warning right here. So that's it, that's your non-current uh, capital item manager. You should be ready, good, ready to go if that's all done, and that'll be the last thing that we need for our finances for our assets and our inventory. Mm -hmm.